What's going on? So this video is going to be about Kyrie Irving and Josh Giddy. And now I'm going to get into about skill sets. I'm going to get into it about because Kyrie Irving will be in the 75. The next list, the 80 to 100, will be considered one of the greatest players ever. Giddy is a work in progress. We'll see how his career turns out. But anyway, let's talk about black and white NBA. Reggie Miller, Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley. Three very important NBA players of all time. Been mighty, 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 mighty quiet about Josh Giddy. Yeah, Reggie be hee hawing from Wendy's commercials to doing a broke Marvin Albert impersonation about how great the game is and Shaq. I'll always brag about Shaq being a top five player. I hold Shaq in high regard as a player. I respect his success, but I don't really buy his TV personality because it's fake, just like Charles Barkley. They had a lot of smoke for Kyrie Irving. Even Shaq was in the Uncle Drew movie, remember? But Kyrie made remarks about the Jewish community, said certain things in the video, and the whole surviving Kyrie Irving thing started. They took his shoes off. They dissed him. They made him go back to school. He got treated worse than Deshaun Watson. I mean, that's another video another time. But Josh Giddy, not so much. No classes, no suspensions. Kyrie Irving was read the fifth. Kyrie Irving and Kanye West were like seen as these twins of, and I'm going to talk about the, the Julia Munger Lettuce or whatever her name is who said that remark about blacks and Jews and stuff. But they read, Kyrie just put a link on his ex, formerly Twitter, and got, and got whitewashed, whiteballed. Josh Giddy, nothing, you know. The double standards in America were three Ks. I call it all the time. I tell all the time. You notice how Stephen A. Smith was all over Kyrie. They were at Kyrie's house. Now, you remember when the brothers came outside Barkley and they were in solidarity to support him? You ain't hear no more of then. See, that's what Kyrie had to go through. Josh Giddy, just another day at the office. Mm -hmm. Just saying what you see, how it unfolds and unplays itself out. So that is a reality that is really, really there. But you tell me what you think, because I'm noticing that TNT crew and these other crews had a lot to say for Kyrie. Nothing about Josh Giddy. And it just goes to show that the institutionalized systematic racism in the NBA plantation is real. And I don't want to see no more of these black players talking about it's our league and we do this. You don't do nothing. That master tells you. You went from Negroes be acting to Negroes be accepting. Because remember, Giddy is from Australia. He got a, he's a passport brother for real. You talk about these passport brothers, which I haven't done a video about them, but that's a passport brother. They're not going to put a family on him and send him back home. They won't make a bag off of him because they're replacing brothers with those passport brothers. The real passport brothers, if you accept them as your passport brothers, your teammates, think about it. That's the reality of today's NBA. And that's what Adam Silver and his whole trophy and these awards and everything they're doing this is the agenda from negroes be acting association to negroes better accept association because there's a difference between the Kyrie and josh giddy thing and it is in black or white and one guy could get deported that ain't gonna happen one guy got demoted that did happen please hit like subscribe welcome thoughts comments and i do respond thank you wash your hands keep your mind clear watch out for another shit if you like it my peace